I chose engineering when I was still in high school. I had a math teacher that recommended it. She knew I loved math, um, but I wanted to do something a bit more applied. So she recommended, why don't you look into engineering? I like problem solving and uh, engineering gave me the tools to get logical solutions to the problems which I have seen. Back when I was looking at schools, engineering had the cool simulation software. I've had several big projects that I'm kind of proud of. I know back in the 90s, we did the Focus Factory project, which is the first time John Crane really went to cellular manufacturing. And I was involved with that, and that was really interesting and a, a new challenge for me as a young engineer. I would say getting my PhD. Uh, it's the biggest measurable achievement, you know, years of hard work, and then you get this diploma at the end of it. So um, certainly that was a defining moment for me. I was recently nominated for the 2019 awards for the STEP, which is a recognized award by the manufacturing industry. They recognize the accomplishments that the women had in their uh, companies, industries. There are definitely lots of challenges, but um, to generalize being a woman, um, uh, coming into the engineering, especially I picked mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is a very much male dominated. Um, so it, right from the education to the work which I do, I see a lot of men. It's good to have more women to get women's perspective, women's leadership to get the training and all that. Yeah, I think the uh, probably the biggest challenge was when I decided to have a family. Uh, I got lucky. I was intending to just quit, and then my then boss and my husband both said, "Yeah, why don't you try part time?" Which I did, and I was able to work at home while my kids were little, and then do part time in and out of the office up until they were uh, grown before I came back full time. And that actually worked out really well for both John Crane and for me. Uh, I got to keep my foot in the door, and I got to continue to learn and grow. And of course, they got the benefit of my knowledge and expertise. So I. I uh, think that was absolutely the best of both worlds. It's not easy being uh, a minority in your field, but it presents an additional challenge, which, um, you know, engineering is certainly for people who like challenges. So I think that that is something a lot of female engineers feel called to address. I would like to be here until I retire. I, uh, I really like working for John Crane and I like the position that I'm in. I get to work, uh, like I said, in a lot of different fields, still learning new things. So this uh, is an ideal position for me. In the future, I hope to still be doing work that interests me, hopefully still in R&D. I love the R&D side of things and I hope to be still solving tough problems. You know, I think I'm already doing that and I hope there's more of that in the future. Definitely, I would like to see myself as a leader because when I see women leaders, I look up to them and they are a great inspiration.